Jalisco, Mexico. Here is Miguel Angel Ranita Gonzalez. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner tonight wearing the red and black trunks. He weighed in at 129 pounds. Fight record, undefeated, 21 wins without a loss, 14 wins by knockout. He hails from down under, Sydney, Australia. Here is Paul Two Guns Fleming. <laughs> Judges scoring this bout at ringside on a 10 point must system. All from the Philippines, Randy Kalwag, Dan Nietes, and Oliver Garcia. And when the bell rings, your third man in the ring, veteran international referee, there. Abainza. Here now with the final instructions. Fleming. Fleming. Gonzalez. Segundo. Okay. I'm a referee. You say Carabetro. Okay. Ah, campeonato. Condela Merigal. Okay. No hay ninguna falta. Don't make any foul. Obedece ordenes. Obe make human. Te protege en todo momento. Protege todo el time. Okay. Bueno. La mano. Regresa a su esquina. Here we go. Before the main event, we have an interesting fight here between the Australian Paul Fleming versus Miguel Gonzalez for the WBO Continental America Super Featherweight title. Ten rounds. 130 pound division. Two Guns Fleming uh, has only fought out of Australia once, and that was in Macau in 2013. His last win was a second round knockout of Tong Tai Rajanon. And he's the kind of fighter that once he gets uh, one win, it's usually followed by another. He's uh, been winning in streaks. Really tall fighter. Mm -hmm. uh, the Mexican. Oh. Oh. Now they're they're trying to see who gets to go to the neutral corner first. That was a knockdown. Yeah. Scored Within right away by the Mexican. The Some confusion between these guys. Now Fleming has uh, so far been all show and no go. The unorthodox fighter covered in tattoos. Yeah, look at his back. Finds the seat of his pants in the opening minute of this fight. Very serious look on Miguel Angel Gonzalez's face. Gonzalez, 27 years old. Fleming, 21, from New South Wales, Australia. Gonzalez, 22 and 7, with 12 knockouts. He's, only, he's been knocked out twice, though. Fleming 21 and 0 with 14 knockouts, but the question here is the quality of opposition he's faced. Right. He's defeated three Filipinos. Flash Villacura, Baluag Bangoyan, and Percy Samson. So after that fantastic win of Magsayo, no Filipino in this fight. And we're now awaiting the main event. So Naire versus Bedak. So far, Fleming looking uh, pretty raw for Ooh, someone who's nice. had that many fights. Gonzalez. Uh, he long reach, yes. Fleming. Fleming trying to find a chink in the armor of uh, Gonzalez. Gonzalez popping him with the right. Gonzalez so far has shown the the better technique. Uh, tight, crisp punches. A lot of snap in his punch. Gonzalez. And you can see the intensity in his face. Oh, yes. And score this uh, first round 10 8 for Gonzalez.
take another look. That's a knockdown in the first round. Scored by Gonzalez. Actually, you can't call it a slip, but... Not a clear knockdown. That's Dino Laurena, head of Integrated Sports for ABS-CBN. Enjoying the fights at ringside here at the Cebu City Sports Complex. The time has come. Fight card brought to you by Top Rank Promotions. A la promotions from Cebu and ABS CBN Sports. So far, only one bout has not ended in a knockout. Must be a record of sorts. Everyone enjoy your fight. Oh, yes, tremendously. Fleming trying to go to the body. Gonzalez so far keeping him at bay. Gonzalez really faking the jab more than anything else. So the Mexican corner is adamant about him working his left. So far, Fleming has not really established any, you know, any rhythm whatsoever. Trying to go to the body, but went low in that shot. Very sporadic in his attacks. I mean, trying to showboat, but showboating alone doesn't win fights. Really trying to counter with a snap, but it's been Gonzalez. Although the reach of Fleming is supposed to give him an advantage, but not yet. So, so far, nobody really a, a clear aggressor in this round. Good shot to the body by Gonzalez. It is pretty late in the evening here, but the energy is way up on the ring and especially in the stands. Open air venue here in Cebu. Last fight held here was in 2007. Over 15,000 people enjoying the fights here tonight. Fleming, a lot of uh, showmanship, a lot of flair, but so far the boxing has left much to be desired. Throwing uh, punches few and far between. He looks really intense, but not able to really connect Fleming yet. Meantime, the Mexican corner busy hurling out. Oh, there's a bit. an exchange. Good counter there by Fleming. Right proving pretty effective. Maybe he should fight left-handed also. Super featherweight division, 130 pounds. But you know, Fleming's really not throwing enough punches to you know make an impression. from the last round right there from Fleming I think Gonzalez has to be more aggressive and has to show more hand speed here he's basically reacting to what Fleming's doing this is for the vacant WBO Continental America's super featherweight title a regional belt Please stay tuned because after this, our world title fight, Donaire versus Bedak from Hungary. But that is really how global boxing is. You have an Australian and a Mexican yeah. fighting for a continental right. America's belt in the Philippines. <laughs> and 
Gonzalez. A little too cautious for my money. I mean, he looks to be the stronger of the two. Yeah, not throwing enough. Try the right, blocked by Fleming. Fleming going to the body. Gets a warning. Right. Gonzalez saying that uh, he wasn't hurt, so the fight continues. Vera Bainza, a veteran international referee for over 20 years. Also a policeman. Mm. So I'm a lot at the sparring sessions of the Naire. Oh, I heard that was quite a trip. The sparring. For you to go there. Yes. Yeah. He trained at the Bebot Elorde gym in Sukar. It's just a, a gym that he used to train way back 2009. Train, he would train late in the evening, but finally got the 12 rounds of sparring that he wanted to get leading up to the fight. First week he came, it just, the heat was just like unbelievable. Oh, yes. It's been about 36, 37 degrees. Yes, but Donaire is, says he's feeling really good coming up to this fight. Meantime, busier Fleming, Mexican. Fleming and uh, Gonzalez both busy. Gonzalez in golden red and Fleming from Australia, red and black. They're both really like jumpy on their feet, but not throwing, I mean, throwing. Yes. Uh, sporadically. No clear aggressor in this fight. It's like they're Let both waiting for something. To go to the body. Uh, now Locked. things starting to pick up. But so far, Fleming has not proven that he can hurt Gonzalez in this fight. Both of them missing rather badly. a bit of action from the previous round. Right by Fleming found the mark. Got through the gloves. Fleming that time. Right hook. But so far the, the Mexican... tries to counter. Missed. The, the Mexican corner pretty... seems pretty confident that they can handle Fleming. Fleming fought for Australia in the 2008 Olympics. He's a gold medalist at the Chemistry Cup. Oh, good right there by Gonzalez. Again, he's not using the jab to set up his right. He's basically using it as a feint. He's caught uh, Fleming by surprise with that a couple of times. This is actually a pretty tough fight to score. No clear dominant fighter, although I would give a slight edge to Gonzalez. Every, yeah, every once in a while, Mexican scores, Fleming comes back a bit. Now, a couple of good shots there from Gonzalez and Fleming eggs in to come on. Now Fleming has Gonzalez against the ropes. Fleming aggressive now. Tempo starting to pick up. Halfway into round four. Here at the Cebu City Sports Center. This was the site of the 2008 
Guinness uh, World Record achieved by uh, Team Cebu City Dance Sport for the world's largest dance clubs. Mm. They uh, almost tripled, actually more than tripled, the previous record set by Budapest. Wow. 7,770 people dancing at the same time. Amazing. Well, we do have good dancers in the Philippines aside from good boxers. Well, boxing is one of the sports supported by the Cebu City Sports Commission. Cebu, the first city in the Philippines to establish its own sports commission. Gonzalez going to work now, but he's been having trouble penetrating the defense of Fleming. Now Fleming's corner going go to go for the body. That's usually the solution to a good defense. Low blow by Fleming gets his first warning. Fleming having a little bit of a conversation with his corner. They seem to be happy with the way he's doing. He's changing smiles and thumbs up. Very business-like round. Yeah. I'm having with this fight, Diane, is there, there's no consistent yeah, flurry right. of activity, right? <laughs> yeah, it's like a couple of shots from Fleming, a yeah, couple, couple of shots. counters from the Mexican. They're both pretty similar in terms of energy. Practically mirror images here. All right, so Fleming, 21 years of age, Gonzalez, 27. 23, 7, and 12 knockouts for the Mexican. 21 and 14 knockouts for Fleming, who's undefeated. But, you know, a lot of busy work, but no, no real business. Right, right. Well, the, the crowd had their fill in the last fight, Magsayo, and then... Well, there have been a lot of breaks in between the bouts because all, almost all the fights ended in knockouts. Right. A little bit of a faster pace for Fleming and now Gonzalez. One, two. Combination for the, Me for the Mexican. Body shots in the left and right from Australia and Fleming in black and red. guns. Fleming has only shown one gun so far. He's left. <laughs> More activity from uh, Gonzalez. They both look really intense, but... Hmm. A lot of lulls. Yeah. They, 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 they fight so similar, actually. It's almost like they're counting the punches. They have an equal exchange rate. But all week, they've been pretty consistent with their workouts, loving the Philippines, of course. The reception of the crowd here for the oh, yes. visiting fighters has been tremendous. Well, Cebuanos love their boxing. Well, having the fights here proved to be a good decision. Well, we filled up the track oval here at the Cebu Sports Center. 
and the grandstand. Yes, we've been working all week to get this venue up. Last time it was a boxing venue was in 2007. Really busy is the Mexican corner, wanting him to do more. Yes. He seemed to be wanting to react more. But as they say, styles make fights. Four-punch combo from Gonzalez. Well, you know, the problem is they're both counter-punchers. Gonzalez got tagged coming in. Fleming's been lucky so far. He's been finding the openings. Round six. Schedule for 10. There, Mexican corner wanting him to move more, throw more punches, and he has been doing that here in the first part of this round. Well, uh, although Gonzalez is known as a slow starter, it's already the sixth round. So there are no more excuses for inactivity. Tirando golpes, more, throw more punches. Más golpes. Yeah, they're really pushing him to try and be more dominant. Fleming is starting to just walk away. I don't really see the strategy on the part of Fleming. Fleming's maybe hurt, maybe hiding the fact that he's hurt. Good combination there, though. Gonzalez's punch is starting to take their toll, also. Corner wants him to go non stop. Well, Fleming's been a moving target, so that's kind of difficult. Yes, he has kept himself moving and slip, and you can see the sweat tripping down the legs of Gonzalez. Fleming tries a quick counter to the body. Left eye now under the bottom part of his left eye. A little bit of swelling there. Fleming more active now. It's pretty much give and take between the two of them. Exactly. Yeah, it's okay. It's Let like me throw a few and then, they're taking turns. and then your turn.
a couple of misses by Fleming, then yeah, the third got a, one. Got a good left and up exchange. Now, I would give that last round to Fleming, but just by a very slim margin. Cool breeze now blowing here at the Cebu City Sports Complex. The fight before the main event, it's Australia versus Mexico. Huge audience here. Gonzalez playing the initiator here. Trying to be more aggressive yeah. and trying to put together more than just a single punch. Fleming looks the same from the first round. Fleming, nice. Overhand right there. Oh. We got tagged there. Fleming's been going to the body. Try to straight. Fleming blocked by Gonzalez. Double jab in a straight from the Mexican. Didn't quite get through. It's been, it's been hitting glove mostly. Oh, good left. By Fleming over the gloves of uh, Gonzalez. Starting to wonder who's expending more energy. The corner Gonzalez, or the or Gonzalez or his corner. They really want him to push. They want him to be more con consistent, but he's definitely not throwing as much as they want to. One minute to go here, round seven. Scheduled for 10. Hang on right after this. Donaire. The Filipino flash against Zolf Bedak of Hungary. The first title defense of Nonito for the 122 pound belt. And I think he's going to stay there, right? Yes, he says that's where he feels most comfortable. Still got, uh, he's talking about having a rematch with Rigondo. Oh, nice. The counter there by so there. Fleming. Now we're seeing more of the skill of Fleming. I think the corner of Gonzalez has decided for him to be the aggressor. But the skill of Fleming is as a counter puncher. Another look at this. Fleming holding off Gonzalez, stymieing his uh, attempts to be the initiator. Oh, that was a good left from Fleming. Trying to do some damage, but he hasn't really scored any solid no shot. No telling blows so far. Very quick to get to the center of the ring to start the action. That's Paul Fleming of Australia up against Miguel Gonzalez of Mexico. In the fight card, the time has come. I think Fleming is gradually taking control of this fight and being by countering by countering and not by being the aggressor. Up and down there. Oh, nice right 
Bok counter from Fleming. Movido is moving, not much, not punching. Oh, a good, pretty strong left from the Australian. They both settled into a nice rhythm now, this late in the fight. Now the question is, who's going to wear out whom first? Looking pretty even right now. One, two from Gonzalez. Only one knockdown so far in the fight in the first minute. Gonzalez putting uh, Fleming on the seat of his pants. Shots blocked by Fleming constantly moving and now coming forward and letting go three in a row like Fleming more aggressive a minute and ten in the eighth round and again this is for the vacant WBO Continental America super featherweight title final minute round eight I think Fleming's now got some momentum going. Fleming has been a professional for seven years. Two guns, they call him. And Gonzalez from Guadalajara, Mexico. Oh, that's a push. First fight of Gonzalez outside Mexico. Well, the temperature is pretty much the same, but uh, the humidity is a big factor. Yes, but thank God for that wind. Oh, yes. So the last couple of nights here, it's been like really calm. It's sweltering. The night it actually came out here in the evening just to test what the temperature would be during his time of the fight, which is set for 10.30 p.m. in the Philippines. Fleming getting the upper hand. Okay, Round nine, scheduled for ten. Gonzalez uh, starting to struggle here. So you can hear the Mexican corner telling him that he needs to do more if he wants to win this fight. Bounced off the ropes by Fleming. can see, uh, I think that's Rachel Donaire there, the wife of Nonito, on the other side of the ring. Fleming taking control of the fight, these uh, latter stages. I think uh, round eight turned things around for him. Walloping there that Fleming gave Gonzalez. See what's hap happening is Fleming throws a combination. Gonzalez isn't unable to respond. Oh, 
non-stop encouragement from the Mexican corner. They're talking more than Gonzalez is fighting. True. There, that's what they want. Now, he hasn't really been able to be consistent. Yes. Maybe just like one, two. That was solid from short punch from Australian. Fleming much more active. Right. They like that. They want get, more. Get him back, get him back, the Australian yeah. corner saying. Make him run, make him run. I think Fleming has stolen this round. Yeah. Showing tremendous stamina. Yes. Is Fleming. He's actually getting stronger yeah. as the fight's going on. Extremely fit for this fight. And connecting, I feel, with the more solid shots. Nice oh, quick hands from that. Fleming. Took him a while to warm up, though. Last round coming up. Fleming taking command, not waiting for any attack from uh, Gonzalez. Final round, and from what we've seen, it's pretty close. Filipinos ready with their Philippine flags there, ready to cheer on Anito Donaire coming up right after this. In our main event, this is the final round of this fight, Fleming versus Gonzalez. Winner of this will earn the WBO Continental America Super Featherweight title. I would give the advantage to Fleming. So far. Picked it up in the second half of the fight. Amazing uh, footwork. And this he's thing. got Gonzalez so basically speed. running after him. Able to catch him then. Good body shot from Fleming. I wouldn't be surprised if this was a split decision. Mm. I think uh, Gonzalez's mouthpiece got knocked out. Vera Bynes are very by the book. Quick hands here by Fleming. He's really turned it up. We have a really interesting uh, number before the fight of the night. A bit of a surprise he prepared, and now the fight picks up. The last minute and 30. We also have Andrew E., who is a very popular rapper in the Philippines, who made a song for the entrance of the night to the ring. I know that the Niners are excited about that too. Excited to let the crowd hear the full thing. Also got all the local boxing journalists covering this fight. Oh yes. And traffic jams got worse today. All roads led to the Cebu complex. Well, they had to close down some streets for parking. They did, you're right. Because this is an active sports complex, so people actually come here to train. Yep, I've actually run around this track. There's also a 50-meter pool. Oh, good left there oh. by uh, Fleming. He 
He's basically used his quickness to snatch the last few rounds. Really quick on his feet yes. and really light. Maybe one more flourish. And that'll do it for the fight. I wonder how Fleming would do against a slugger. Gonzalez, you can see his frustration. Well, they both look happy. Let's see who went who won that fight. I don't know, it was a pretty tough fight to call for the first six rounds or so. Although Gonzalez had the early advantage with that knockdown. to the scorecards. Coming up after this, our main event. Finally. Finally. Now, it's been a long card, a lot can, of knockouts. Now we can actually say that time has come. Yes. <laughs> We've been leading up to it all night. Nine bouts all in all, seven televised. And of the Previous eight, only two have gone the distance. Gonzalez trying to sell the crowd that he won. Let's see what the judges have to say. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, here at the Cebu City Sports Center, after 10 rounds of boxing, we go to the scorecards. Judge Dan Nietes scores the bout 96-93. And Judge Randy Kalwag and Oliver Garcia both see it the same. 97-92, all for the winner by unanimous decision, and now, WBC Continental America's uh, super featherweight champion from Australia, Paul Two Guns. I think that was Fleming. a fair decision. Yes. Winner by unanimous decision, Paul Two Guns Fleming from Australia. I